As our eyes close gently to start a pranayam, a breath session, we start our breath work first by slowly withdrawing our minds which happens effortlessly by taking awareness on our breaths. Try not to change them before we start the breath work, but only watching them. Because we are alive, we are breathing, and because we are breathing, we are watching our inhalations and exhalations with closed eyes by keeping intensified awareness on the area between the upper lip and the nostrils. अपने ऊपर वाले ओठ और नासिका के बीच में ध्यान दे सांस अंदर जा रही है सांस बाहर आ रही है हम आना पान कर रहे हैं जिसे योग में स्वर योग कहते हैं अपने आप शरीर एकदम स्थिर हो जाएगा आना पान या स्वर योग करते हुए सारा ध्यान अपने ऊपर वाले ओट और नासिका के बीच में रखें We now bring our right hand in Nasagraha Mudra where the index finger and the middle finger touch the thumb pad. We inhale fully from the left nostril after closing the right nostril. When lungs are full, we close the left nostril and do an Om chant exhaling from the right. Apne fev se jab bhar jaye, तब धीरे 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 ओम चांट करते हुए हम सांस छोड़ेंगे दाई नासिका से इनहेल फ्रॉम द राइट नाउ क्लोज इट Om chant from the left. Om. Inhale from the left. Om chant from the right. When you inhale from the right, make sure not only your lungs are full, but the inhaled oxygenated air is reaching from your head to your toes, from your shoulder blade to your shoulder blade. Hold the inhalation before you start your own chant from the left. Once you are oriented, place your right palm on the abdomen, left hand on the chest. The upper abdomen at the diaphragm. To do one kapalbhati and one diaphragmatic breathing. A kapalbhati involves an active exhalation where the abdomen is pulled in. And a diaphragmatic breathing involves inhalation and exhalation from the diaphragm. Diaphragm is just below the ribcage and above the abdomen. So we do Kapalbhati, diaphragmatic breathing. Kapalbhati, 
diaphragmatic breathing. Continue. Diaphragm is a beautiful flooring to the lungs and a great ceiling to the abdominal organs. For Kapalbhati, we work on the abdominal organs. For diaphragmatic breathing, we work for, on full exhalations and full inhalations. Discontinue the practice. We are now doing a blend of a Shodhan Kriya with a Pranayam. Kapalbhati is a Shodhan Kriya. Pranayam, energizing category in which I choose to give you Bhastrika with alternate nostril. Alternate. So, we close our right nostril and do Kapalbhati. <laughs> And we close our left nostril and do bhastrika. On finishing one and one of each, we start going up in ascending order. So now I'm going to do and then pay full attention to the number. Now start with one one. Even if you practiced with me, one Kapalbhati left nostril, one Bhastrika right, and then continue. Repeating the entire sequence, we are doing alternate nostril, Kapalbhati and Bhastrika. Kapalbhati is a cleanser, a shodhan kriya. Cleans the channels of energies. Bhastrika is a vitalizing prana. Right hand is in nasagraha mudra. We are exhaling from the left nostril after closing the right. That's Kapalbhati. We are pulling the abdomen in. Then we are changing nostrils. So we are closing the left and inhaling and exhaling from the right this way. That's a Bhastrika. Again, left exhales in Kapalbhati. Again, right does inhale, exhale in Bhastrika. Now, discontinue the practice. Whichever number you reached on, say six each or eight each, Start from that number to come down in descending order. Yeah, we are doing a mind game. We are doing a gamification. Often we have a fear that I keep forgetting everything. We are doing now the reverse. So, we exhale from the right nostril and inhale and exhale from the left. So, if we ended the other side, at eight each, we do eight, eight. If we ended at six each, if we ended at seven each, And so on. So now start coming down in descending order till you reach one each. When I just showed before six each and seven each, the eight each, I showed one and one on each side in the opposite. But you have to start with eight and eight. Opposite nostrils.
Currently, the right nostril is only doing Kapal Bhati and the left nostril is only doing Bhastrika. As soon as you've reached one each, discontinue the practice. To start with normal Kapal Bhati once again in a twist. So we are restarting Kapal Bhati, but this time we are doing it in a full twist. Kapal Bhati pulls the abdomen in with every exhalation. Discontinue the practice, other side, twist. Here, start with a number, 23. So it's 23, 22, 21, that way. Discontinue the practice. Come back to the center. Give yourself an entire mo moment, one minute to watch your breath before we start with Gunakar Pranayam. Watch your breath. Stay steady. Start with Gunakar Pranayam now. Gunakar, as the name suggests, means multiplication. You need to inhale from your right shoulder up your left nostril and exhale from your right nostril out of your left shoulder. So it's like an alternate nostril pranayam, anulom vilo, but it's a full visualization of a cross. Right hand in Nasagraha Mudra, close the right nostril. Since you have to inhale from the left nostril, inhale from the right shoulder. Lungs are full because it went up. Oxygenated air went up from the left nostril. Close the left nostril, exhale from the right and out from the left shoulder. Now inhale from the left shoulder. Up the right nostril. Lungs are full. Exhale from the left nostril. Out of the right shoulder. Gunakar pranayam. Gunakar, as the name suggests, multiplication. So it's a multiplication sign like the breast cancer loop where we inhale from one shoulder blade drawing air in from the pores there. It's not a visualization. Inhalation actually happens from the pores on the skin. Up the other nostril and we exhale 
from the other opposite nostril out of the diagonally other sided shoulder. Then we inhale from the other sided shoulder up in a cross in the nostril, exhaling from the other nostril down the opposite shoulder. Gunakar pranayam. Like an anulom bilom. It requires more awareness than visualization. Continuing to do Gunakar Pranaya, now get into a count. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, other nostril. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more round. Discontinue the practice. We now place our right palm on the abdomen, our left hand on the chest. To do one kapal bhati, one bhastrika. One kapal bhati, one bhastrika. Check this duality. There's a total difference here. One is a Shodhan Kriya, one is an energizing Pranaya. The areas are also different. The Kapal Bhati brings the abdomen in, in the exhalation. The Bhastrika is all about the lungs. Inhale, inflate the lungs, exhale, deflate them. It's two distinct areas, abdomen, lungs. Abdomen involves liver, spleen, gallbladder, large intestine, small intestine, stomach. Lungs involves the entire ribcage, the chidakash area, sorry, the ridayakash area, the akash around the riday. A very simple and easy one. And now, Convert this to two to each. Open your eyes and watch me if unsure. Two kapal bhatis, two bhastrikas. Two kapal bhatis, two bhastrikas. Now, do a breath work of your choice. You'll suddenly get signals. The body will tell the mind, hey, this is the one for you at this point. Each one of us had a different sleep last night, different dreams or no dreams. 
each one of us had a different day yesterday. By way of activities, work, stresses, responsibilities, emotions, sensitivity. Currently, the body is telling the mind, this is the one for you. It can be energizing, sensitizing, tranquilizing, balancing, cooling, warming like an Agnisa. Give yourself this minute to do a breath work of your choice. Discontinue the practice 